As Germany gears up for national elections, you may be curious as to know how the system works. Let me explain. There are three main parts to the German political system. The Bundestag, or Federal Diet, the Bundesrat, or Federal Council, and the Verfassungsgericht, or Constitutional Court. The Bundesrat is a legislative body made up of delegates from the 16 state assemblies. Each state has between three and six votes, depending on their population. The Bundestag, on the other hand, is made up of elected representatives, one from each constituency, plus a number of other representatives which I'll explain later. Together, the Bundestag and the Bundesrat propose legislation which is then debated and voted on. The Constitutional Court ensures that any legislation does not violate the German basic law. The executive branch of the German political system is made up of the Chancellor, the Cabinet and the President. The Chancellor is elected by the Bundestag and is the head of government. The Chancellor then appoints members of the Cabinet. The President, on the other hand, is head of state and is elected by the Bundesversammlung, the Federal Assembly. This body consists of the entire Bundestag plus special envoys from the 16 states. Its sole purpose is to elect the President. The Chancellor sets the agenda and has great influence over the general policies of the government. The President's role is mostly ceremonial, but he can refuse to sign a bill into law if he believes it to be unconstitutional or if the proper democratic procedure was not observed. Since World War II, this has happened eight times. What's happening on the 22nd of September 2013 is that Germans are voting for a new Bundestag. Each voter gets two votes. The first vote is cast for a single candidate, while the second is cast for a party list. In each constituency, the candidate that receives the most votes is elected to the Bundestag in classic first-past-the-post style. But the seats they win don't necessarily reflect their actual share of the vote, so there are twice as many seats as there are constituencies. The remaining seats are allocated to further candidates from each party list, but in such a way that at the end of it, the total number of seats each party has is proportional to their share of the party list vote. The party with the most seats usually gets to form the government, but they need an absolute majority. Since Germany has more than two major political parties, this almost never happens, and so the biggest party must form a coalition with one of the smaller parties. In the last elections in 2009, the CDU-CSU union got 239 seats, the biggest share, but less than half the total. They formed a coalition with the FDP, bringing their share to 332, an absolute majority. The German political system is more complicated than this, of course, but this is how it works in principle. 